Hey you guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. If you caught my recent video about beauty advent calendars, which ended up being a hot mess disaster of me just ripping into an elf advent calendar, you know that I picked up a second advent calendar. And what I realized afterwards is I never told you where the advent calendar was from. So the advent calendar that I picked up is from the body shop now i've never tried one of their advent calendars before i used to love body shop products it's been a long time since i've been into them um but i was really excited about this kind of an advent calendar because who doesn't love like body butters and lip balms and all of those sorts of stuff i just think that this is a really really good advent calendar for a lot of people because it's not color cosmetics um so there's no worrying about you know, hair color, eye color, skin tone, anything like that. It's just sort of works for the masses. While, you know, maybe you don't like moisturizers, maybe you don't like textures and smells and stuff like that. What is gonna be in here is their most popular products um, and a decent selection of them. So this particular box that I have is the Share the Love Big Advent Calendar. This one is $129. Says it has a $193 value. There are two other advent calendars that I didn't get because I don't need three. There is a smaller one and also a larger one. The smaller one is the Share the Joy Advent Calendar. It is an $89 calendar for with a $145 value. So you're going to see a lot more small sample sizes in that one. And then there was a larger one, which is Share, Love, and Joy Ultimate Advent Calendar. It was $195 with a $311 value inside. So that one might have the best value for money. Um, but I just know that like I really, really wanted to get into this. I think that this one is a really good mix of both full size and um, small products. And kind of like I said for the other one, if there is anything in here that maybe isn't for me, perhaps there's a smell that I don't particularly like or, you know, a product that is just has no place in my routine or my day. These are really, really easy products to divvy up to friends and family as like stocking stuffers, because especially with COVID, we've all been washing our hands and sanitizing like crazy. My hands are cracked all the time. Who doesn't need a hand lotion or a body butter or something like that? So let's get straight into this. First of all, I love the packaging of this. The advent calendar I opened for e.l.f. I destroyed, definitely could not be reused. This one could easily be reused I think just based on the outside so it looks like a bunch of little houses it's a beautiful little Christmas scene and it opens up kind of like a toy ooh, a toy chest oh my gosh okay there's something in the top I need to see what it <gasps> okay you get this really cute little Christmassy scene it's like three-dimensional yeah you could definitely keep this and like have another advent calendar for like future years with your friends and your family and put your own stuff in it because all of the boxes are numbered. You could just fill it with your own products. How cute is this? So there's, oh, it already smells so, I'm gonna smell so good after this. So there's already a bunch of boxes on the top and then there's two drawers underneath it. So we still get the fun of trying to find which box is where, which is so, so, so exciting. Um, this already smells so good. We're just gonna get straight into it. So. The number one box is in, oh, and the drawers do come all the way out. So that makes that really, really nice and easy. So the number one box is right here. This smells so good already. Uh, I just have to try and remember to keep the boxes where I got them from so that I can put them back and use this again. This would be really, really cute for like kids. Once you have kids to put like maybe a little toy in here every day or something like that. So, so, so much fun. So number one. Okay, it says, this Christmas we're celebrating the people who selflessly care for others all year round. For the next 24 days, let's join them and share that selfless love with the world. So cute. All right, we've got to be careful. I'm really badly, like I'm well known for just ripping boxes. I don't want to do that. Product number one. Okay, exactly like I was just talking about. This is a Shea hand cream. I need hand cream all the time this is going straight into my purse i'm so excited and the body shop makes really good quality products they've been around for forever they really do their research a lot of natural ingredients just beautiful so i think that anybody you gave this to even if every product in here wasn't for them would really really appreciate what your gesture um was because that's the important thing it's not what is the it's almost like not what is the value of a gift but what is the perceived value did you put a lot of thought into it that Oh my God, this smells so good. We're gonna put that on our hands right now. It's just, and it, it's, even though it's scented, it's just such a light waft of a scent. It's not overpowering, it's not floral. It's just fantastic. Let's try and find box number two. 
Box number two is in the bottom drawer, it appears. There it is, right dead center in the bottom drawer. I'll kind of show you every box. I didn't show you the first one, but there's the second box, box number two. This one says, unite your neighbors by coming together to decorate a tree down your road or street. Really cute. Oh my God, these are all gonna have the cutest little say. Oh, it's just a little bitty, bitty baby. So this is a lip butter. This is a strawberry lip butter. How cool are the graphics on these? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I can't wait to smell this. Oh, I broke the seal. Oh, well. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, I wanna eat that. Are these edible? Is that okay? Put that back together. I'm really excited about that. I love lip balm. Like, I don't normally love lip balms in the pots, but that smells so good, I can't resist. Number three is in the same drawer as number one. I'm only telling you this in case you get this and can't find them. This says, write five notes with random compliments. Now leave them in unexpected places like train and bus seats or a colleague's desk to share some love. That's a really sweet idea. That's I really like that. They're putting together like thoughtful ideas for Christmas that can just bring joy to someone's life. Hmm. So this is a shower gel and it's the first thing that I might not be that into. I do love the Body Shop shower gels, don't get me wrong. This is in the shade, or the scent, oh god, British Rose. It's just a little too florally for me. Um, really pretty. It's a small size. It's only 60 milliliters. I know that they do come in larger sizes than this. Um, the scent is probably not for me, but still really, really nice. If you like florals, you'll be all over that. Number four is in the top. It is a long skinny box. Long and skinny, just like this. The pictures are just gorgeous. Uh, this one says, know somebody who selflessly cares for others, offer to make their dinner for a week. Okay, here's another product that I won't personally use, but I know a lot of people love these, so I can't really um, bash them. This is a Body Shop Vitamin E Quench Sheet Mask. Uh, after 15 minutes, thirsty skin feels hydrated, softer, and smoother. Biodegradable sheet. That's kind of cool. So you get one sheet mask, uh, enriched with natural origin hyaluronic acid from some stuff. From France. So this is just a sheet mask. I'm not a big fan of them. They make me feel kind of claustrophobic. But again, sheet masks are very, very popular. So I get why those, those are in here. Number five is in that same top section. This is what this box looks like here. It's got a little guy on it. And it says, message five people in your phone book and tell them why they're so awesome. That's really sweet as well. Could you imagine just opening your phone one day and seeing something like that? This is a sumptuous cleansing butter suitable for sensitive skin. It's chamomile with calming chamomile extract from Norfolk, England. So cleansing butter? I don't know what that is. It doesn't smell like much of anything. It's just like a white, clear kind of butter. I'm gonna have to look into like, how would you use this? Why would you use this? Is it like uh, for your face? Is Does it help you get makeup off? What is the deal with that? If somebody knows, tell me down below. Number six is in the top drawer. Looks like a bit. This one says, bake with your besties and share your tasty treats at your local care home or food bank. So sweet. So this, okay, is a muslin cleansing cloth. So you get one cloth in here. I've never used these before. I know that they're really, really good. Um, again, I might not use it, but cute idea. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just so, I feel like I'm just so happy with this box because every box you read something and it just says the nicest things and da 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 da. Like, I feel like even if there was something in here that I didn't want, how could I really be disappointed? This is box number five. We've got that same dude on it again. Five? No, I already opened number five. I was counting down instead of counting up. We're actually on box number seven, which is in the bottom drawer. Now some of these boxes, like, so this drawer is actually deeper than the top drawer. So I think some of the items in the lower box are actually larger than other ones. So this has like a little guy recycling on it, which is kind of cool. And it says, collect litter at your local park or wild place, feel good, enjoy that air. Cool. Nice, we have another hand cream. This one is in coconut. So excited. 
I love hand creams. I was just at the mall when I bought these and I was at Bath and Body Works and I walked out and then realized I didn't buy any hand cream. <gasps> so glad I didn't bother because now I have tons of hand cream. Number eight is a fairly large, oh, it's heavy. This has to be a full size item. Send a surprise Christmas card to a neighbor. Make everybody feel together. Okay. Ooh, it smells good. What are you? This is shampoo. For dry to very dry hair, prone to breakage, intense repair with vegan silk protein. So this is shea shampoo. 92% ingredients of natural origin. And it smells really good. Shea is just a very like clean, it's like coconut, but not so like strong, I find. It's just a very, very calming, very, very light, light sense. That is awesome. And that is full size for sure. Um, so we have shampoo. There's probably conditioner in number 15, which looks the exact same, but we'll see when we get there because we're not there yet. Number nine is in the top section of the box. So this one says sign up today to volunteer at your local care home, food bank, women's refuge, or homeless shelter. And we've got another shower gel. This is pink grapefruit. That's probably gonna smell amazing. Oh my God. That is so vibrant and just, oh, that would really like, if you took morning showers, I'm not a morning shower. I take showers at night. That would just be like invigorating and really, really wake you up. Oh, that's great. I'm not a big grapefruit person in terms of the taste, but I love the smell. It just smells so citrusy. Number 10, doesn't wanna come out out my friend looks like somebody giving coffee to somebody else it's hard because I don't want to wreck the boxes so this one says give a gift to somebody who's too busy caring for others even if it's a hug or a cuppa so that's like I didn't realize but like all of the pictures on the front have sort of something to do with like what they say on the outside which is kind of cool this feels very light what are you okay it's like a loofah but it feels like organic. It doesn't feel like the plastic you want. It's also shedding like crazy in here. Okay, interesting. What does it say on here? We replaced our plastic bath lilies with a natural plant-based fiber. Make sure you let it dry out completely and store it in a dry place. So really cool. Very, very uh, environmentally friendly, which is great. Number 11, right dead smack in the middle of the top drawer. So not the top section, but like the top drawer. This one says, hold doors open, offer your seat on the bus or train, help the elderly cross the street, be super kind all day and every day. I mean, we should just take these values into every day. It shouldn't just be about Christmas. Oh, so this is a coconut bath bubble, coconut fragrance. Look at how little it is, it's like a little chocolate. Uh, I don't have baths often, but I would totally use this. We do have a really, really nice big like soaker tub and I just never use it. And I don't really know why I don't take baths. I find that they're just more trouble than they're worth sometimes. But for a nice relaxing coconutty kind of bath, I would totally use that. Or as I said before, even if all of the products in here aren't for you, put together a little gift set, a little bath set for someone else. Include that loofah, maybe a shower gel, maybe put the shampoo and conditioner. And if it's not for you, the bubble bar, something like that for someone else would go a really long way so that's why I like advent calendars like this where you know even if a particular scent's not for you a particular product's not for you you could divvy up what's in here amongst people and still kind of show them a little bit of thought uh and then you know keep some stuff for yourself as well because while it's great to give gifts to everybody else at the holidays I find that it's also a time that we need to remember ourselves to rest and recuperate and recharge after a very, very, particularly this year, very long, stressful year. Treat yourself too, that's okay. For example, Tom and I don't buy each other Christmas gifts and birthday gifts because our birthdays are at the beginning of December, then it's Christmas and it's just too complicated and it just feels like an exchange of money. So we decided this year that we're going to go in for something together for the both of us instead. And that's just a really nice thing, like treat yourself to an experience, to a dinner, to a trip, whatever. This one says, invite somebody over selfless, invite somebody selfless over to pamper, revive, and unwind. Share the joy together. So this is a purifying glow mask. This is Himalayan charcoal. Um, I'm not a big fan. Ooh, 
of charcoal. It kind of smells like tea tree. I'm not a big fan of charcoal masks, but I would be willing to give this one a shot because it is the body shop and I do trust them. I know that they have a lot of really great products for people with more sensitive skin. Um, so maybe we'll see. I don't know. Number 13. Unlucky number 13. Let's see what it is. We're halfway through guys. And honestly, if you watch my elf advent calendar, I just feel so much more calm and relaxed with this one and just so much more happy about everything that I'm getting. So this particular one says post a note through the door of somebody who cares selflessly to say thank you. Alrighty, we've got a shower cream. This is a Shea shower cream. Really cool. We're gonna have the whole Shea set, I feel. What's a shower cream? As opposed to like a shower gel. Is it more hydrating? I don't know, is it something you put on? Like, you know how Dove has that lotion that you put on while your skin's still wet to lock in moisture? Is that what it is? Don't know. Into number 14, this is another big box. Probably another sheet mask, knowing my luck. Oh, no, it's not. It's too heavy to be a sheet mask. Number 14 says, loved ones spending Christmas alone. Why not video call them to spread some festive love? Ooh. Oh, my God. This smells like hubba bubba. This is a strawberry soap, and it smells like hubba bubba, or like bubblicious. That smells so good. We're going to have to use that. Oh, I'm so excited for that. We just used, like, the Dove cucumber soap, but that smells fantastic. Might have to tell Tom he's not allowed to use it. It's all mine. I just tell you guys to share things. Then I'm like, no, you can't use that. It's mine. Number 15, help somebody out by babysitting their kids, walking their pug, watering their plants, or just being there for them. Another sheet mask, but that's okay. That's really nice. So this one is an Aloe Calm sheet mask. Similar, but different. I'm not into sheet masks. Somebody else can get you set of them that's not afraid of them like I am. I just don't like that feeling of them like suffocating my face. Do you know what I mean? They just freak me out. I'd rather just put a mask on. Okay, I'm getting, having a hard time juggling everything in these boxes. Okay, so number 16. Local business or charity you love, leave a review to show your love and appreciation. So this is, oh, it's like a headband. Cute. It's like a little like um, terry cloth head wrap. That's a look. I'm gonna leave that there for the rest of the video. Cute. I think it must, that would be, you know when this would be really good when I'm washing my face to keep my hair out of it. Oh. We have a use. Number 17, know any neighbor spending Christmas alone, get your street together and sing them some carols. I don't know if I would do that, but that's a cute idea. This has a British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. So it's in a similar container to the Himalayan charcoal one. I don't even know if I showed you this or if I just read them and put them over there. How boring am I? We'll do a recap of all the things that we got at the end of the video. Um, again, that scent is not my scent personally. But it must be pretty popular if it's been in here twice. Twice. Yeah, twice. Next thing. Has a teacher, colleague, or friend inspired you? Let them know how much they make the difference and how much you appreciate them. We've got another little bar in a plastic wrapper. This is a oh, pink grapefruit. This one smells more bitter than the last one. Oh, it's in a heart shape. I can feel it. So now we have a two bath bubbles. Tom really likes grapefruit. Maybe I'll let him have the, the grapefruit one. It's just a little strong. It's a little, little. It's invigorating though, as I said before. Number 19. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Alrighty. Too many toasty clothes in your wardrobe. Why not give them to a homeless person or to your local shelter? It's good advice. Aha, more shea. So body butter for very dry skin, 96 hour nourishing, vegan. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for this too. I love me some body butter. When you are as dehydrated all the time as I am and have like super, super dry dehydrated skin, you love all the creams, all the butters, everything. And sometimes when things are heavily fragranced, it takes away from how moisturizing they are, but you know that that's not the case with the body shop. Indoor plants help improve air quality, creativity, and well-being. Send one to your selfless bestie for some natural TLC. Got a British Rose hand cream. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this. It's just too floral for me. It's not that bad. 
but it is a lot. So I'm noticing a trend. These must be like their most popular scents. So you're getting the Shea, the Citrus, and the Grapefruit, and that British Tea one, British Rose one, whatever. Where's box 21? Box 21, guys, we're almost near the end. How did we get there? What book changed your life? Change someone else's by leaving a copy at your nearest book swap stand. I don't think we have one of those. Okay, so here is a mango shower gel. Cool. That smells really nice. See, I don't use shower gels at home, but maybe I'll take them to work with me because they're small. And so they don't take up a ton of space in my locker, which would be really, really nice. And I'm not carrying gigantic bottles to the shower with me every day. Number 22. There's somebody kissing under mistletoe. Uh, love yourself with this treat. Now share those feel good vibes with the ones you love. British Rose, of course. Exfoliating gel body scrub. See, this one isn't as strong of a scent. It almost has like a minty scent to it, which is kind of interesting. So maybe it depends on what the product is, how much of that fragrance is actually in there. But this is what it looks like. It comes in a decent sized pot. Again, I'll, I'll review everything. Won't be in order, but we'll review it at the end. Where's number 23? I just noticed that this has 25 things in it, not 24. Did I tell you guys 24? <laughs> You could have been better than me and waited and opened one every day in December, but that's boring. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Invite a friend over to share the festive magic. I always watch Christmas movies with my mom. Vitamin E gentle face wash with raspberry seed oil. That would be really, really good. I'm excited for that. Face wash. Good. I can always use face wash. Where did I find 23? So 23 was in here. So that's the top section done. But I can't close the calendar because I can't get the drawers in once it's closed. So this one says spending a little too long on your mobile. So that means your phone, your cell phone. Why not go offline for the day and spend that time helping your most loveless friends and family with another sheet mask. This is a vitamin C sheet mask. Add it to the pile. All right, I can put the top drawer in. We are officially out. Did you guys see that? I just hit myself in the face with a box. We're officially on the last box. Did they save the best for last? I don't know. Feels pretty heavy. Feels full size. Number 25. Leftover food after Christmas Day. Divide it into tasty meals and share with the homeless. Something poking out of here. The silica. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Big body butter. So this must be the full size and this must be the mini size. This is avocado body butter. What does it smell like? Kind of Play Doh y, but that's fine. I've seen worse scents in a body butter. So that is the 25 days of Christmas. Let's put the drawers away. We're gonna save this for another year because it is so cute. And I love that. I really like the idea of like people putting together advent calendars like this that you can reuse over and over and over again. Like I said, you could make your own advent calendar in the following year. You could put tasty treats and drinks in it. Um, and I got to this so early. I could make a really fun advent calendar for Tom with something different in it every day for the month of December. That would be really fun. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do a DIY advent calendar for someone you love. Uh, I'm gonna start pulling pieces together and sticking them in the boxes and we're gonna do that for Tom. We're gonna find 25 things. I will take you guys with me, show you guys me making it. <gasps> That's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. But let's review everything that came in this advent calendar. So first things first, we got three hand creams. Hand creams, always super useful. There was a Shea, a coconut, and a British Rose hand cream. Really excited about that. We got two bubble bars. So we got a pink grapefruit bubble bar, blah, 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 bubble bar, and a coconut bubble bar. Really, really fun. Going to be good for the bath. We got three different shower gels. So there was a mango shower gel, a grapefruit shower gel, and also a British rose shower gel. Three of those. We also got a shower cream. Don't know what the difference is. This one is shea flavored. Unfortunately, we didn't get a conditioner, but we did get a shea shampoo. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, and it doesn't say, hmm, doesn't say you have to pair it with the conditioner so you could use whatever conditioner you have. That is great. We got a exfoliating gel body scrub in that same British rose flavor. We also got two masks. So we got a purifying glow mask and a fresh plumping mask. One is in British rose, one is in Himalayan charcoal. 
Then we got this chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter with calming extract. I'm not 100% sure what this is. I'm gonna have to look into it. Is it a cleansing balm to take your makeup off? Is it like a moisturizer? What are you? We don't really know. Speaking of facial washes, we also got this vitamin E facial wash. Really excited to try that out. Let's get into some of the more like hmm, boring parts for me. So we did get three sheet masks with this. We got a vitamin E, an aloe, and a vitamin C. These are probably really good quality face masks. Again, just not for me. So I will give them to somebody who will love and use them. The other things that we got, we got this headband that I almost forgot about because it's on my head. We got a muslin cloth and we got this little loofah. Again, probably not these two things, not something I'm going to use, but easily could be put in a gift basket or something like that for somebody else to use. I've got so much stuff on my desk. I'm having a hard time like pulling out what's what's what. We also got this strawberry lip butter and it smells so, so good. And along with that, we got this strawberry soap. This is a full size soap and it smells fantastic. I'm so excited for that. The next and I think last two things that we got are the two body butters. So we got a full size avocado body butter and a smaller size of the shea body butter. So that is everything that came in this 25 days of Christmas advent calendar. I think it was a really, really great value for money. I really enjoyed opening all of the boxes. I enjoy the packaging. I think it's great, easily used again. I think that the little sayings on the sides are beautiful. As long as you take good care of the boxes, there's no reason you couldn't use this year after year after year after year. And like I said, if you guys are interested in seeing me put together like a little advent calendar for Tom, I don't know what it's gonna have in it. Um, you know, could be just candy. We, we shall see. I'm not too sure. But if you guys want to check that out, then keep an eye out for that. I will post a video of that when I have all of the products together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below. What did you think about this? Did you think it was good value for money? Is this a box that you would maybe get? I will also link to how to get this box in the description. So if you don't have a body shop near you, you can get it online. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I can't remember if I already said that. And if you're not and you want to be, then subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.